Can't believe I'm doing this again. All right, yo, what's up, guys? It's Gumwings here, back with another reaction video. Today, I'll be reacting to three terrifying true ho home intruder horror stories that will make you paranoid. I'm currently home alone right now, so yeah, this is by Nightmare Files. If you guys remember, this guy, and warning, I'm about to use like. Mature language. So if you're a child, please mute me for a while because I don't want your parents to get mad at me. Anyways, Nightmare Files, last time I reacted to him, he scared the living shit out of me, man. Like, his intro scared the shit out of me. That's how scary he was. So we're we'll reacting to his video today, guys. Um, this video was requested by Dingleberry once again. Dingleberry, I honestly hate you so much. So yeah, we reacted to his to um uh, Mr. I mean, Nightmare Files again. I just did a Mr. Nightmare reaction video, so that's why I've been saying it. So anyways, we'll be reacting to him today. So if you if you guys want to watch this for yourself, the um, link to this video will be in the description down below. Um, if you want to uh, if you if you get, I recommend you subscribe to this guy since he does good narrations as well. And um, yeah, before we start this video, I just want to let you guys know to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button if you're new, and if you are subscribed, make sure you have no these on, because I don't have a schedule, and for some reason, no these sometimes don't work. Alright, let's begin. On my front porch, I continued to lay down flat on the couch, then I stuck my head just above the back of the couch very slowly. I've never been so frightened Where's in my the life. There was... Oh, there it is. Nightmare files. You're not getting me the second time, man. You ain't getting me the second time. Think you're slick. You're not getting me the second time. Story one. We have three stories to get through, guys. I have to get through. This happened when I was 14 years old and staying at a friend's house. It was a cold, misty, moonless October Friday night. Halloween was upon us and all the usual pranks that come along with it. In the weeks up to that night, the usual pranks of knocking on doors and running, friends knocking on windows to scare you and stuff like that. That just happened to me, but man. But this night was different. This night is what nightmares are made of. Recently, my friend's sister, who for this story we'll call Jamie, was being harassed and stalked by some guy who she didn't know. Who reported came blocked back him. from a haunted house. Then we turned on the TV and started to watch The Exorcist in the living room. It had to be around 11 or midnight. And no one is, no one is going to get you paranoid. You're watching Exorcist. Like, it's just like, that's actually like a horror movie, man. Like, Exorcist? I, I'm not watching that alone or at night. Especially on Halloween, too. Like, people could just go and knock on my door at like 12 a.m. and be like, trick or treat, give me all your candy. Like, I ain't dealing with that, man. I ain't watching horror movies on Halloween. I'm watching it the day after. Because, like, I'm not trying to get, like, creeped out by people that will go pull pranks. I'm ready, man. And the dog started to bark at the back door. So I went to see what she was barking at. And I heard the fence rattle. Lock I didn't door. think anything of it as it could have been the wind or an animal. Your door better be locked. So Bring your dog back, back inside. And unless unless it's, the, it's a friend. guard dog. Then all of a sudden, Ooh. Jamie screamed from her room. We ran to see what was going on. Jamie said someone was knocking on her window and saw Ooh. someone run to the back of the house. Just then, we heard someone trying to pry open the sliding back door. And when Baby I ran locks. in there, I saw someone standing there with a ski mask and hoodie on. His Baby eyes locks. were void of feeling, void of any sense of morality. I made sure the extra lock was set. And he seen me do this and started to bang on the glass. 
Then all of a sudden, he took off running. He better be. I asked my friend if the front door was locked, and a look of terror came over his face. Ooh. He ran to lock the front door, Ooh. then all of a sudden, it swung slightly open. Oh. Luckily, he got there in time to stop it from opening completely. You're honestly so dumb. When leaving the front door and back door open? Like, I'm, I leave all my doors locked, man. The windows are locked. The, all my doors are locked. It's like, okay, you're not coming in. I have my garage locked too. It's you. Be, you're not coming in until I say so. Only people that I trust can come in, man. I'm not letting you come in. The intruder got his arm inside the door. He kept pushing it open so ever so slightly, but my friend yelled for me to help as Jamie was frozen and frightened, screaming. Of course. I ran as fast as I could and slammed my shoulder into the door. Smashing the intruder's arm in between the door and the door jam. He jerked his arm out enough that we could close the door and lock it. The stalker was screaming and banging on the door, yelling over and over. Jamie, I'm going to get you. If not tonight, it'll be another time. And I'm going to kill those kids for what they've done. Ooh. I grabbed the baseball bat and my friend grabbed a shotgun out of the closet. We thought he was going to try and get back in. We called the police and waited what seems like hours before we went out to see if anyone was around. But all we found was handprints on the windows and footprints in the mud leading to the backyard. The stalker's that. identity was never found out. And after that incident, Jamie was never bothered again. But after the incident, Jamie was never the same. She was quiet, distant, and it was hard for her to trust people. It took a long time for her to be herself again. Duh. It makes you think you never know who is watching you, who is following you in person or on social media. You don't know what their intent is, or if they have nefarious intentions. The world has become an information nightmare, and for that you never know who is spying, peeping, and lying, waiting to ambush you. You always have to be aware of your surroundings. He's gonna pull a jump scare on me. You are He's able gonna to keep yourself scare. safe. He's gonna pull a jump scare on me now. Actually, maybe not. Okay, I thought he was. Cause he's an ambush. I'm like, okay, he's gonna blow a jump scare. This happened nine years ago when I was 15 years old. It was a Friday morning at school, and my friend told me that she would spend the night. Throughout the day, we spoke about what we could do for entertainment. But by the end of the day, she let me know that she couldn't stay for the night. Ooh. On my way home. My mother texted me to let me know that I would be home alone tonight because she picked up a shift from 7 to 7. She was a nurse and that a happened 12 for 12-hour shift? My mother started dinner while I was watching TV Good in luck. the living room. But as I'm watching TV, I randomly look out of the window because I heard a car going down the street. I always look like out the I window, man. Do, I look at it because we live right at the end of a dead-end street. This car didn't stop. It just circled around and crept down the street. Ooh. About 30 minutes later, I saw the same car while I was watching TV. It did the same thing. Went to the end of the street very slowly and turned around. He's waiting. The windows were tinted, so I couldn't really see how many people were in there. He's waiting. It was around 6.30 when my mother was walking out of the door. It was the winter time. He was waiting. Yo, he knew. I, I'm waiting for the thing. He knew that the, that the woman was... Still at home. He knew some. He knew the mom was still there. He's just waiting, bro. He he, he probably stalked you for a long time, man. Or she. We don't know who it could be. But like, he he got you, man. You better um. You better get your defenses ready, cause he was just waiting for something to leave. Time. So it was already dark outside, but it was man, unusually warm thirsty. also. So I threw my mother's food away because it was trash and she could never cook. And I made a few bags of popcorn. <laughs> I was content with that. I laid on our couch, turned on Don't disrespect your mom like that, man. Friends. When your mom cooks, you better love it. Like, it's delicious. Like, they work so hard just to make you food. Your parents make work so hard just to get, just give you some, a plate of food. So you better like, you better like take it. Like, I don't give a day's bad, I'm eating it. You don't know. Maybe the whole world's gonna end soon, and like I'm gonna be starving, and I'm gonna eat that piece of slop for a while. I'm eating it, so I'm used to it in case like the whole world goes to shit. It also became hot in there, so I opened a window that was behind the couch. 
My mother hated when I opened it up because there's no screen. So I opened it up just a few inches and laid back down. You could at least have the a AC on. Later, someone knocked at the door. Close the door. Close the window. Just, just close the window. You screwed up so hard. You better close the window, man. He was stalking you. I leave a window open. You better close that shit, man. How much time is this man today? Hey, no, you better close that shit. I'm not waiting to see what's gonna happen. I'm closed. I'm slamming the window, being like, "Okay, you're not coming in. If you break the window, I'm breaking your face. I'm throwing shit at you." I'm not gonna wait till stuff happens. I'm being defensive first. If you have a weapon, I'm gone. So it's like, if you have a knife, I'm throwing shit at you. If like, if you have a gun, I'm just gone. You can have the house. I just, just let me take my phone, and I'm gone. As I'm getting up, I can hear about three people talking. Ooh. Only because my window was open, but I don't think they noticed it because it sounded like they were whispering in a way where they definitely did not want me to hear. Yeah, they knew your window was open. They're planning to get to the window. The more you hear someone whispering outside your door, I'm closing everything. I'm locking up. If you come in, I'm gone because it's three against one. What am I going to do? If it's like one on one, you might get like a vase thrown at you. You'll get like a pillow thrown at you. You'll get like a fucking lamp thrown at you. I don't care. I'm throwing stuff. And if you have a weapon, and it's a gun, I'm really out. You can't catch me if I'm not even there anymore. Expecting to see a few people, but to my surprise, I only saw one. What's Parked the vibe? a few houses plan. down. It's the part of the plan. I saw the car that kept riding up and down the street. But anyways, when I opened the door, the man asked me was Daryl home. I said that no Daryl lives here. Then he asked me were my parents home, and I said no. You're an idiot. You're such an idiot. I always say my mom's home. Like, no matter what. And if they ask can I speak to her, I'll be like, she's busy, she's dealing with something right now. Can you please talk to her later? Like, I ain't waiting. I ain't telling the truth like I'm home alone. Like, I heard three people, like, whispering. You heard three people whispering outside. But it looks like there's more people inside than there actually is because once you tell them no they're gonna gang up on you they're probably hiding somewhere right now wait to ambush you and your idiocy is idiocy a real word you being an idiot makes makes you a perfect target so i'm I, if i was in that situation i'm lying i'm always lying i always whenever someone asks me my mom's home i'm being like um yes yes she is that no but like i always do that if i'm on the phone if um, if it's like let's say on the door, I don't even answer my door to begin with unless I know someone's coming. So yeah. <coughs> my mother's my gone for the night. He said okay, with a smirk on his face. You're done. You're and just he said, done. Sorry to bother you, and he left. I laid down watching a few movies. Be ready. They're off. gonna break in. Maybe around midnight, I think. All of a sudden, I was awakened with a sound. You fell asleep? How do you fall asleep to that? You know what? Screw this reaction. I'm done. I'm just done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Okay, but like, how can you be such an idiot to fall asleep when you hear three people whispering outside your door? Bro, I'm already jumping to conclusions. Well, you ain't freaking told them that your mom wasn't home. Like, they're gonna break into your house. You heard three voices. There's three people probably outside your house. And then, like, this story's just stupid, man. This story's just, like, full of so much crap. I didn't know like, what it was. Bad, bad stuff. I looked at the clock and it said 3.02 a.m. Then I heard another noise. It was. The funny thing is. I already know it's gonna say like I forgot to close my window and like they're gonna come in through the window. I already know that because like this idiot did not close the window at all. Um So Nightmare Files, you better pick a better story than this man. 
the story it doesn't make me paranoid. It makes me so mad. Cause like there's so much dumb plays in this in this one story. This one story alone. That's the thing. Footsteps behind me outside of the window on my front porch. I continued to lay down flat on the couch. Then I stuck my head oh my just God. above the back of the couch very slowly. I've Why never so been so frightened in my life. There was a man pressing his face against my front window trying to look inside. I was frozen in fear. Okay, that's what I, got I don't think still. he could see me because I was right under him. And it was dark inside with the only light being my TV. Then the guy did something that almost made me scream. I laid flat again on the couch and the guy in the window said, He's asleep right there. If she screams, I'll shut her up. <laughs> he then started to lift the window. I ran in the kitchen to grab my mother's gun while he struggled with the window. As I'm running, I dialed 911 and put them on speaker. I explained the situation, ran to the window with the gun, pointed it, and told them that I would shoot. And the police are on the way. The guy was halfway inside when I held the gun to him. He froze while the other guys ran off the porch. Ah. I made the guy stay there when the police were on the way. He was arrested and my mother never took a night shift again. At the same time, I'm glad my mother taught me what to do in those type of situations because it could have ended up a lot worse. Hang on, I'll tell you something outside. Good news, my parents are home. <laughs> my parents are home, man. This story happened August 14th, 2003. When I was 14 years old, Justin three. I lived on the street that okay, had like, a lot of boys. This on it. if this all of us were if the story has like so much controversies, it's actually like realistic. Cause I feel like before 2010, people did not think straight about like stuff that will happen. So, like if he leaves the window open, like someone breaks in, I would understand that. Cause like people did not think straight. At least from my record and what people have told me, there was like more crime that happened in the year 2000 and before that. Then, like this year we're the same age and we'll frequently spend the night over each other's houses and simply just hang out there were literally around 10 boys the same grade it was a thursday afternoon when five of my friends came over to hang out Aww. we were all inside my room you have numbers. And all of a sudden the power went out i yelled outside <laughs> that, was, that would actually be a great video like right now like my power went out i would just record on my camera and I was, I was with friends too, I'll be like, yo, the power went out, um, I can't check my camera, like my outdoor camera, because that runs on electricity. So if someone tries to break in, I don't think any of the footage will be recorded. So we're basically screwed until the power comes back on. Like, that actually might be, like, by the window to tell my father because he was cutting our grass. Ooh. I went to check the fuses, but the power never okay, turned so, back so on. Okay, so it's daytime. All of my friends went home, and shortly after that, they all started calling me, telling me that their power was also out. Wow. So we all met outside and played football in the street. It's daytime. At so this fine. point, it was all 10 of us plus other kids. Once it started to become darker outside, we started to notice that it was a blackout, but we didn't know the severity of it. Judging by, like, what he's telling me, this actually might happen in Canada. August 3rd, 2003. Hang on, let me see. I'll search, let me search it up on my phone right now. Like, that actually might have been, that actually might be the, been the Canada blackout. I'm gonna play the video still. I'll it was very it. hard to see, so we all grabbed flashlights and played hide and seek. We ran everywhere on our block. My parents rode down our street while we were playing, along with other parents. After a while, okay, I may got we saw wrong. some old guy walking down the street that we I'll didn't know, later. but we didn't pay any attention to him. As it grew later, we all decided to go home. A okay. few guys Let me just like recap because my brain's like trying to work. Because I was distracted for a bit. So basically, the, it was like getting dark. They all got their flashlights. They were playing hide and seek. And then like creepy man's like, a creepy old man's just watching them. But he didn't think anything of it. Okay, so I'm all caught up. Came to my house, but no one's parents were home. At least that's what I noticed. Ooh. I don't think anyone else noticed it, though. My friend across the street stayed home, so we all called him. He was telling me that he wished that his mother would stay out of his room. 
I asked him why did he say that. He said because when he went to his room, his underwear was dumped all on his bed everywhere. I said, that's weird. Then he said, I keep hearing her upstairs walking around the room. I told him that's impossible. I really know where this is going. It, it's an intruder, not his mom. And to, to, to the test in three, I don't think he'll be able to grip a weapon. So he's basically, like, he's so fucked. Possible. Then me and a few of my friends got up and looked out of my window across the street at his room. I asked him, does he still hear the footsteps? And he said, yeah. Then we all saw someone walk across his window. It was that random guy we saw earlier. <laughs> You did not close your. D I told him that is not. Oh yeah, you mom. people let you get out of the house. So doors then we closed. called our other friends, ran across the street, and ran into the house. We beat the crap out of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is actually hilarious now. They beat the crap out of him. Oh my god. See, this uh, this is why this is how society should work right now. You have there's power in numbers, so like. But like beat the shit out of him, like this should actually be like real life. They beat the living shit out of him? Bro. And called the police. We come to find out that this guy had been arrested in the past for similar acts. Luckily we saw him when we did. Cause who knows what would have happened. I'm guessing that's it. Yeah, I'm just guessing that's it. Probably that like the last like 37, 27 seconds gonna be basically him giving on merch and stuff. But you guys can watch that for yourself. So gotta say, this is like a medium level video I've reacted to during my whole career on YouTube. So it was kind of decent, kind of not. It didn't really get me paranoid. Uh, cause I think it's like I'm basically already that. Like I pay attention a lot, and like if it's, if I feel like something sketchy, I'm already looking out. I guess I'm already paranoid in real life, so I guess like this video won't really get me paranoid. The first story, um, I would. That's kind. That was kind of interesting, but like the fact is that they never found the man, and like, he could still be out there stalking that girl. That could be up for part two. Like, there's never a follow-up story to any of these horror, horror um, stories. The second one just... I, it just, like, really got me mad. Like, holy. I had to leave just because. It was it was just that bad. Like, you leave a window open, and you're acting like no shit's happening. Then the third, the third one was, like, actually hilarious. Like, the, the um, resolution. That was kind of fun. So yeah, that was kind of that was kind of fun. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you guys want to watch this video for yourself, the link will be in the description down below. Make sure to subscribe to Nightmare Files. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And if you are subscribed, make sure you have no these on, because I don't have a schedule. This video's rating is a seven out of ten. Peace out.